They are nice, they are shiny, and boy, oh boy, do electric scooters like this, a popular way to get around in Florida with no driver's license required, create quite a debate right now. Some say they're allowing convicted drunk drivers back on our roads. One Tampa area store even markets those scooters as the DUI scooter, a legal way to get around or a loophole. Here's Contact 5 investigator Katie Legrone. All right, let's roll. It looks like a moped. All right, I'll give it a little more juice. Sounds like a scooter. Hello, sir. Only this ride requires really very little. There's no mess, there's no fuss, there's no gas, there's no oil. Called electric bikes, they have two wheels and pedals. You can't go faster than 20 miles per hour. And a driver's license? You don't need one. And that, some say, well, it's a loophole, is the problem. But mad we're not in favor of anything like that where people are getting around these kind of conditions. I'm not looking for a loophole. Michael Kuttner started e-biking about a year ago. To just kind of stay mobile, to and from work, do some grocery shopping, and go to the health club. He doesn't have a driver's license anymore. I have multiple DUIs. Uh, I, I suffered through the disease of addiction. And I'm trying to make a great comeback from that. Michael lost his license to drive in 2008. I have no one to blame but me. After his fourth DUI. As an ex-school teacher, the last place I thought I was going to find myself was in behind and locked behind prison doors. Today, he's clinical director at a drug treatment center. Oh, I can only make the wrong a right. And one of a growing number of convicted DUI offenders turning to e-bikes as a way to get around. I'm just trying to get back to and from work and uh, be a productive citizen again. These are supposed to be punishments. And now if they could just turn around and get an e-bike. Diego Asensio is a civil trial attorney whose day job is to keep DUI offenders off the streets. The main thing isn't how fast they go, but that you're in the middle of traffic. I'm just imagining a scooter that's scooting along, you know, not making a sound, and potentially with uh, convicted drunk drivers driving them. So I'm not, I'm not getting a good warm and fuzzy feeling about these e-bikes at all. A volunteer for Mothers Against Drunk Driving, Asensio is planning to bring up the issue as a possible one for lawmakers. 20 miles an hour is pretty fast, enough to do damage. Like State Representative Irv Slosberg to debate next session. Yeah, the question is how do you define the good guys from the bad guys? How do you define the people like you're talking about from the people who are just repeat DUI offenders, menaces to society, and they're just on our roads now on, on these electric bikes. Slossberg believes the solution is upgrading the law on e-bikes to moped status, which requires a helmet and a driver's license. I'm going as quick as I can. I'm running out of juice. Michael Kuttner hopes the law stays just the way it is. A man on the mend and looking ahead. With the multiple DUIs, people want me off the road. And I understand that. But if I stay stuck in the past, I'm never going to move forward and be any good to, to my family and friends and, and people who are counting on me. And that was Katie Legrone reporting. E-bike riders must obey all bicycle laws, and they can still be issued a ticket if they're found to be operating while under the influence. You can read more about the e-bike law by logging on to our website, WPTV.com, and clicking on this story.